name is Breon Galloway and I'm from AmeriCorps Vista. Inside my program to help out kids and give back to the community. We went to different schools and we helped children with different activities to get them um, their reading skill level higher than what it is at this moment to help them to better their self when they go back to the next grade level. I found out about the VISTA program and it was a good way to actually give back and volunteer and a good thing to put on my resume and also get a little bit of money. Uh, as you know, without Mayor uh, Blake's uh, leadership and support for youth in Baltimore City, uh, you all would not be here today. Um, so essentially, uh, you are her AmeriCorps VISTA volunteers. You have committed three months of your lives serving the children and youth of this city, uh, making sure that they get three square meals a day, making sure that they get academic tutoring and support, making sure that they get all different types of really fun enrichment activities, making sure that they're reading, that they're learning, that they're making new friends, and making sure that they are avoiding the summer learning loss that contributes so much to the achievement gap in Baltimore City. So thank you very much for all of your service. And um, let me um, ask whether Governor O'Malley would like to have something to speak. I'll introduce him. Okay, so without further ado, Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake. Thank you very much, and I'll be brief. I want to thank Vu and all of my team for uh, making today's ceremony possible, and I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, you don't know how much I brag on our vistas. I talk when I when I talk to community groups. I talk about you know this core of amazing people who are making sure that are filling the gaps really in so many ways. Vu talked about our summer meals program. You know from experience how many young people in our city would go without, would go without breakfast, would go without lunch and dinner, without those programs that we have, the summer meals program. And the governor, when he was mayor, was a very active uh, supporter of the, the meals program. Did they make you go in the, in the freezer where the, where, oh, yeah. yes, where you have to go? Yes, man, and, and so we can put the, the meals together, but without the volunteers, without the, the VISTA workers, the AmeriCorps workers, we cannot get them throughout the city. So you are in a, an essential uh, piece in that, puzzle, in that puzzle. And we know, and you know from experience, how valuable a resource that is when a young person uh, is able to make it, you know, to get the nourishment that they need to have a fun, healthy, and safe summer. So I want to thank you for that. With this, with the volunteers that did the reading program, uh, we know what, when, one of the big things we know about uh, school and achievement is that gap and that um, that divide that happens. It's not along race lines. It's not along social economic uh, lines. It's about um, being present and making sure that what you, gain, what you gain during that school year that you don't lose. So that's why it's so important that we had the summer reading program and you are making sure that our young people continue to be able to achieve. So I'm very, very grateful for that and all of your hard work. So I hope that you serve not just as an inspiration to your, uh, your core members, but also to people in your community. Because when they see you doing well and see you having an impact on community, on your community, and having an impact on the world, um, that's how I was inspired to uh, choose public service because I saw people who had such an incredible impact on the community and I wanted to do the same. So I want to thank you for being the inspiration to young people uh, of your generation about what it means, what one person can do uh, in our neighborhood and in our city. So thank you very much. And with that, uh, before we go and have our meeting, I thought it was uh, important since I had the governor in the house uh, that I ask him to come and say congratulations and, and uh, wish you well as, as as you're completing your summer program. Governor O'Malley. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mayor, thank you very, very much. And I, I know how proud you must be uh, when you look at the uh, group of, of young people that are making a difference in the life of our city. I, I oftentimes say to myself, if I can only bridge my service to the next generation, we're all going to be okay. So I appreciate what you have been doing all summer, and I congratulate you as that summer starts to head to a close. You know, there was a, you've all heard the expression, uh, that I think attributed to Descartes, I think, uh, therefore, I am. A more, 
another uh, wiser person in our own time said, uh, I eat, therefore I think. <laughs> I mean, and what we've figured out is that for so many of our young people, if they're only, uh, if we can make sure they get a healthy breakfast, a healthy meal, st stay fed through the summer, they think at much higher levels than they would if their stomach was always growling, their sugar was off, or they didn't know where their next meal was coming from. So the work that you do is really, really important it's because if we're going to make this world a better place, it all happens because of that most fundamental and important thing, which is relationship between one person and another. And in AmeriCorps and VISTA, you have the opportunity to work in that important space that bridges those gaps, that reminds us that we're all in this together, that we need each other, and that each of us is needed and important. So uh, I hope you have a good summer. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the time in the air conditioning here in the current room. And uh, I thank you so much for your service, and I hope to see you again as you go on through life and as you come back hopefully to do even more service for others and whether it's in school system or municipal government or or state government but i uh, just conclude by saying thank you for what you've done this summer thanks very very much i spent my summer working with children helping them learn how to read and just giving them a better way of life and we also did gardening, community partnership with the community, help pass out fire for free meals for children who doesn't have those things. And most, most importantly, to give back to the city school where I'm kids and other people around the world. I would love to do it again. I'm actually looking forward to doing a yearly service with them, not just the summer, but for a whole year.